So here's a teenage relationship with all of the first. The first day of high school, the first prom, and the first time meeting the family. Mom, dad, brother, grandma, grandfather, and there's one person that stands out, but it's not the boyfriend. Originally, my film was going to be about football, but once I found out who this great man was as a person, it became way more than that. I wasn't just going to follow a story about a man that changed a football program. I found a person who was humble, honorable, relentless, steadfast, a role model, and a life changer. One of the most important things is to make sure that young people understand that if they will live their life with integrity, then they, in turn, can be an example to others. Grant Taff is an example of great character. My grandfather is a role model. My dad is loving. Grant Taff is best friend. Coach Grant Taff is a model of integrity. I think my dad's purpose in life and the way he has always thought of himself is really a person of influence. Whether it's on the football field, or in a classroom, or preaching to a church, or speaking to the American Football Coaches Association. He wants to lead and influence young men and people of all ages in a positive way. Grant Taff is He's very much a molder of men, an influencer of men. Was someone who shaped the way that I view this world. It was more than just what I could do on the football field, it was also what I was doing off the field to not only help the team, but also to become a independent and useful individual in society. He is a father, he has three daughters, and when you ask him, what do you have in the way of children? He says, I have three beautiful daughters, and he never mentions the fact that he doesn't have any sons because over the years we have 125 sons. To me, he's just dad, and he has been uh, the same person on the field that he's been at home. So it's not just the X's and O's for him. He had an ability to raise the level of the team's play just by the way that he would communicate a message. These two Eskimos were out fishing, solid ice. They had two holes drilled in the ice. Both were fishing with the same equipment, using the same bait. One fisherman was catching fish, and the other was not. The guy that wasn't catching the fish said to the guy catching the fish, what is the secret to your success? And the guy catching the fish looked over at his fishing partner and said, you gotta keep the worm warm. The guy was willing to do what it took. He kept the worms warm. They were wiggly because he kept them warm in his mouth. So I go back and uh, go to my office and go back in the, the uh, little restroom we had back there and I took one of the long boogers out and put him under the water faucet and I gave him a bath deluxe. Put him in a little vial, stuck it in my pocket and we go out to warm up. Then we go back in the dressing room and uh, you know, everything's going really good, but they were really uptight. They uh, just wanted to win so badly. And so I said, yeah, this is the right thing to do. So I uh, had him in my hand. I told them the importance of what it, what it is for them to make sure that they do whatever it takes to win the game. And uh, when I said that, I pulled the worm up, jiggled him, opened my mouth, dropped him in the corner of my mouth. They went nuts. I did not eat the worm. I used it as an example for individuals to do whatever it takes to get the job done, and you should do the same. The teachings of Grant Taft, um, I don't know that it can save society, but I guarantee you if people would read his books and if they would go listen to him speak or sit and talk to him for 30 minutes, um, they would begin to understand the importance of the human being. The team that was pretty diverse racially, we would go experience the culture of one another and we would go worship in the African American church or in a white church so that we could understand one another and know the equality and the common ground that we share. I think the question of will our society rebound is one that can only be answered by the future generations and if they can come to grasp the importance again of the family. You have to come back to the fact that, you know, God created us, that's what it will take is for human beings to realize and go back to understanding who they are and why they were created.
You know, I do have uh, faith in uh, this nation. I have faith in individuals within this nation. So what we have is we have uh, a country that is in many ways crumbling. Uh, we have unbelievable things that happened recently in Las Vegas. Uh, a murder took place, taking over 50 lives and injuring over 500 individuals. Senseless. Not a real reason for it to happen. What has to happen is that young people have to realize that there is a right way to do things and a wrong way to do things. We have to incorporate within our lives, even if you do not study the scripture, there is an important aspect of being a successful human being, and that lies on the integrity, the honesty that you develop. We have to somehow, particularly as young people that this nation is entrusted to, are going to have to wade through all the minutia and get to the point where they themselves can look clearly on a path to be a part of renewing and building this nation again. And it can be done, but it's going to take determination, it's going to take hard work, it's going to take deep commitment. And as success comes, that success has to be built by those that follow the generation that makes a change. So, But there has to be a change and a turn in this nation. I will do whatever it takes to help society rebound. Even if that means eating a worm. Stop no! sticking out. Where it goes. Okay. All right. Maybe you're just gonna. Could you see oh, the worm? Wow. It wasn't oh, camouflaged by the background? Mm-hmm.